welcome to a new tutorial. This week I'm going to show you how to make this stinger transition. About two weeks ago I had no idea what stinger transitions were, but uh, they're actually pretty cool and I spent uh, a few hours working on some the other day. It was really fun, so you're gonna have other tutorials on other stinger transitions soon-ish. I don't know, maybe I will like make it kind of a series. So for this one, you're gonna want a title clip with rectangles. So project, add title clip, and then you're gonna add rectangles. So Alt R will allow me to make a rectangle. Um, so my biggest one is gonna be white. So I'm gonna start with this one. I make it white. And I want it to be kind of rotated, so I'm gonna have a rotation of 16 in Z. Of course you can choose whatever number, whatever number looks good to you. And then I'm gonna make it as big as possible so that it doesn't go past here, this corner, and this corner in this direction here. Um, you can also change the size with this, so like right now I could choose the, change the width with this number and it kind of easier. So my first question to go is okay, and then I'm gonna add two more. Alt R again, or here, you can also do it. And this one I want it to be light purple. Like the same as my channel color, it's like something like this. I should really learn the values, but I don't know them, <laughs> so I'm just gonna approximate. Uh, so I'm also gonna have the same rotation here of 16, and I want it to fit the white one, but like not be. I don't know, you just need to choose the size you want, you know. So right now, I think it looks perfect. Alt R. And another tri rectangle, sorry. Um, so this one is going to be the dark purple in my case. Steel rotation and make it grow. Okay, that actually looks pretty perfect. Create title and you have your first thing. So then you're going to drag it to your bottom track. So I'm going to add a transform effect to make it move from the left to the right. You can look for it here. Transform. And so you want to zoom in first. The first thing you want to do is zoom in because you want to only see, in my case here, the dark purple. So when you stop, it needs to you need to not have the other colors visible. Uh, you can just be safe and put it a bit more. It doesn't really matter. So this is going to be your middle frame, kinda. So you can add two keyframes. Um, I just realized this is very long. Uh, your, singer transition, your stinger transition is going to be about 2 seconds long, so just drop it. Now I can adjust my keyframe, so I want one around here, one maybe here, like one quarter and three quarters, pretty much. And at the end, you're going to move your frame to the right and to the left. So this is going to be going all the way to the right for the last keyframe. And for the first one, all the way to the left. So now I'm gonna actually change all of the um, interpolations to smooth. Uh, that's gonna be a problem, but I want it. I want to show it to you. So it's gonna be smoother when it comes, but then it it goes back in the middle, which is not what we want. So I'm just gonna change this back to linear, and now we shouldn't have that problem. Perfect. If you want the um, thing to come faster, you can add a keyframe in the middle. Like, I'm just gonna move this to the right, put it to smooth, and this should be okay. Let's try. Now it looks more like it's going less fast towards the end. Slower, that's the word, slower towards the end. So I like it like this. So we have our first thing, but then we also want our logo to appear in the middle. So here I have my logo. I'm gonna choose when it's gonna appear roughly. So like from maybe here, it's gonna be, we're gonna need it like so a few frames in and a few frames before the end, but like that doesn't really matter because it's, um, it's gonna be hidden with the next step. But for here, um, so in my case, my logo, I don't have it with like uh, the shape I want, so I'm just gonna as add a little alpha shapes quite quickly to make a little circle around it. So I wanted an ellipse, and for size, 
this needs to be bigger i want zero transition width this maybe not that big maybe like i don't know 200 and since i want a circle this is too big i'm just gonna try to adjust it by eye this is pretty circular <laughs> this is gonna be the good one let's say it's a bit big so i'm also gonna add a transform effect i have it in my saved effects here and just put it here and i want it smaller maybe like 70 percent 60 70 i'm not sure yeah that's as big as it's gonna get i guess I um, also wanted to have a bit of uh, movement because right now it looks it looks real really like flat, so I'm gonna make it zoom in and out a tiny bit. So at the beginning it's gonna be small, then it's gonna get bigger. So here is the big one, and small is gonna be like sixty percent, and everything's moved it this time. And at the end it's gonna grow smaller again, like from here maybe. And maybe like we can move that a bit towards the middle. I also want a bit of a rotation, so for the first one and the last one, I'm gonna rotate it a tiny bit. And let's see what that looks like. It kind of moves weird in the middle, actually, so I will make it rotate a little bit less. Especially here. Okay, let's see what that looks like. That's not bad. One thing I realized is the color is really far off. So I'm just going to change it real quick. Okay, so now we have the animation, but like the logo appears kind of weirdly. It would be great if it would get hidden by the bars here. So I'm going to actually duplicate my title clip by right clicking. And then on the copy, I'm going to remove the back triangles and update title so now you have the same one but with only the purple on it dark purple the smaller one and you're just gonna copy the transform effect that you made before you can just drag and drop and it, right now it's not exactly what you want but if you select alpha in in the transitions so like you add a transition then you select alpha in and now it only shows it when this one is shown. So right now, if I go really slow right now, it's gonna appear. Hey, isn't that exactly what you want? It looks really cool. It's actually a bit slow. Um, I think the middle part is too long, so I'm gonna shorten everything. Just a tiny bit. And I just need to move my keyframes. And probably same here. And that will be a bit faster. Nice. One thing you can do to make it sound better is add sound effects. So I'm just going to add these. Uh, they sound like this. Okay, well, you heard it in the background. It's not exactly at the right place. So I'm just going to move it a little bit. It's even too far, so I'm just going to move actually everything to the right. And you did what for the closing as well, so I'm not using the same one, because that would be weird, I think. And this one sounds like this. And it's actually way too slow for what I want, so I'm just going to change its speed. Um, maybe like... Yeah, around this, and maybe pitch compensation. I'm not sure if I want it or not. We'll see. That's nice. Okay, so our transition is finished. Great. Uh, we can shorten this because, like, I don't want it to be too long. I'm just going to add a little fade out. This can be shortened as well. And we're going to re render, not in normal MP4, but if you go to here, it says video with alpha. So I guess all of these work great. I tried this one and this one, and they both worked. So let's do this one. I, I'm not sure what the difference is. I'm not changing anything. I'm just doing rendering. So I'm just going to call it like, um, well, I guess single transition with an, without an S. Render to file. It's quite fast, as you can see. That's nice. Let's see what it looks like. Then if I go in kernel live, I should see it. Um, okay, don't mind my ugly thing. I don't know if uh, VLC can read it. 
Yes. Okay, so that worked. And so to use it, you're gonna want to import it into OBS. So here I have it open because it's recording. And you can go here, like add a transition. So you do add Stinger. I'm sorry, it's in French, but Stinger. I'm sure you can figure it out. You can name it whatever you want. I name it test two because I already have tried it once. And then here it asks for the file. So you go here and you find your file. Okay. Then you need to say that the middle part is around one second. So if you do 1000 milliseconds, it should be okay. And right now I can't see the thing, but you can scroll here or make this bigger to preview, pre preview, preview, that's the name uh, at the bottom here. Okay, something looks weird, but I think it's just because it had trouble doing it. Yes. So yeah, you have A, then the transition, and you have B. It's perfect. And so you say OK, and then you have it here. And when you want to add a transition, you can just select it. Well, that was all. I hope you liked it. Yeah, um, please like the video if you did, and subscribe, and comment, and everything. And it makes me happy. Hey. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.